ever found yourself in a situation where your nursing textbooks didn't quite prepare you for the reality of a patient's bedside, let me share a little secret with you. I've been there too. Let me tell you about my first day as a newly qualified nurse where theory met practice in a way I never expected. Welcome my wonderful healthcare warriors, I'm Martin, your Danish male nurse. And today we are exploring a crucial aspect of our profession. How to translate the complex theories we learn into practical, effective nursing care in real-life clinical settings. We'll start with this little story. It was my first day on the job. I was armed with all of the theoretical knowledge a nursing degree can offer. Feeling confident, yet there was a flutter of nervousness in my stomach. I was walking into the ward and suddenly I was faced with a situation no textbook had prepared me for. A patient, let's call her Mrs. Jensen, was in distress, not just physically but also emotionally. I had to think on my feet, recall not just my medical training but also the chapters on patient psychology and communications. This is where understanding the whole patient comes into play. We are taught about holistic care in theory, but in practice it's about truly seeing your patient. For Mrs. Jensen, it wasn't just about administering medication, it was about offering a listening ear, understanding her fears and tailor my approach to her unique needs. Communication skills are crucial in theory, but it's also the heart of our practice. It is more than just conveying information, it's about connecting, understanding, and showing empathy. Every patient has a story, and our job is to listen and respond in a way that respects their individuality. And now before we dive a little deeper, I've got a little request for you. Hit that subscribe button and join our nursing family. Together we'll explore the depths of nursing theory and practice. And your support means we can keep bringing you content that makes a difference in your nursing journey. So let's get back to the story, where adaptability is another key lesson from my experience. Nursing theories provides us with a solid foundation, but in the clinic every patient is a new chapter. For instance, with Mrs. Jensen, standard procedure wasn't enough. We had to adapt our approach based on her specific emotional and physical needs. Incorporating evidence-based practice is crucial. This means combining the latest research with our clinical expertise to provide the best possible care. Like when choosing a wound care technique, we don't just rely on traditional methods. We use current research to ensure optimal healing. Reflective practice is something that theory teaches us, but out in the clinic it tests us on it. Because after each interaction, reflecting on what we did well and what we could do better the next time is invaluable. It's about growing, learning and continuously improving our craft. And one of the best theories I use to understand my patients is Michael Bakhtin's theory because he says we can never understand each other but we can minimize the misunderstanding and reach an illusion of consensus which believe where we believe that we understand each other but with our knowledge as nurses, we know we don't understand the patient. We are closer to understanding the patient. And if you want to know more about that theory, check out this video. I like that thumbnail. Click that video because um, it's going to help you. And I, I actually like it.